Good day everyone. Today, we will be discussing the overview of the philosophy of mathematics. Maybe some of you will be asking some questions, what do you mean by the philosophy of mathematics? What is the main purpose of studying it? Or else, a question like how related the philosophy of mathematics to the philosophy of science? Does this kind of philosophy have a direct effect to the educational system that we have right now? Well, let's find out the answer as we go along to this topic. First, let us define the term philosophy of mathematics. The philosophy of mathematics is the branch of philosophy whose main purpose is to reflect on and account for the nature of mathematics. It addresses the following questions. 1. What is the basis for the mathematical knowledge? 2. What is the nature of the mathematical truth? 3. What characterizes the truths of mathematics? One thing for sure is certain, that the philosophy of mathematics provides the foundation for the certainty of mathematical knowledge. The universe cannot be read until we have learned the language and become familiar with the characters in which it is written. It is written in mathematical language, and the letters are triangles, circles and other geometrical figures, without which means it is humanly impossible to comprehend a single word. Without these, one is wandering about in a dark labyrinth. This is according to Plato, a philosopher during the 5th century BC. Don't you know that Plato was a student of Socrates and later a teacher of Aristotle? Plato's most famous work is The Republic, a society run by philosophers. Plato was just one of the many philosophers whose contribution in mathematics is remarkable. Can you name some few philosophers who have significant contributions to the philosophy of mathematics? 1. Aristotle. His major contribution to mathematics is his work on logic. His ideas dominated the world for over 2,000 years until Frege developed his Begriff script, published in 1879. Aristotle viewed mathematical truth as hypothetical necessary truth. Aristotle may have been the first philosopher to state the distinction between actual and potential infinity. Infinity represents something that is boundless or limitless. 2. Leibniz. Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz (1646–1716) was one of the great thinkers of the 17th and 18th centuries and is known as the last universal genius. He first argued that mathematics is essentially logic. By the way, logic is a science of reasoning. 3. Kant. Immanuel Kant (1724–1804) is the central figure in modern philosophy, born April 22, 1724, in Königsberg, near the southeastern shore of the Baltic Sea. He introduced the distinction between analytic and synthetic propositions and argued that mathematical truths are a priori but synthetic. He had an opposing idea as to the nature of mathematics to those of Leibniz and logicists. 4. Brouwer. A Dutch mathematician and philosopher who lived from 1881 to 1966. He was referred to as L.E.J. Brouwer, but was called Bertus by his friends. In philosophy, he works on intuitionism. Intuitionism views mathematics as a free activity of the mind. Mathematics is considered to be purely the result of the constructive mental activity of human. 5. Frege. Friedrich Ludwig Gottlob Frege (1848–1925) was a German mathematician, logician, and philosopher who founded logicism. He used the general principle of comprehension by building arithmetic from logic which he called Basic Law 5 but was later proved by Russell that it is really inconsistent. Basic Law 5 was later replaced by Hume's Principle. And many more like Bertrand Russell, David Hilbert, Kurt Gödel, René Descartes, Wittgenstein and Lakatos. Class, this is just a simple overview of the philosophy of mathematics, now it's your turn to make a simple term paper. I'll give a comprehensive discussion on the following schools of mathematical thoughts. 1. Logicism, 25 points. 2. Formalism, 25 points. 3. Constructivism, Intuitionism, 25 points. 4. Platonism, 25 points. 5. Fallibilism, 25 points. Note, at least 150 words each, M is word format, short size bond, font size 12, aerial narrow format, cover page, introduction, why there's a need to study the philosophy of mathematics, body, includes your comprehensive discussion of the five schools of mathematical thoughts. No need to write the conclusion. I hope you enjoyed watching my simple discussion on the philosophy of mathematics. If you like this video, please subscribe to Tapomi channel for more discussion videos. Bye and see you next time.